here is your handout. And we're going to make some modifications and go through the steps with this PowerPoint from the, my source. All right. And one of the things you're going to see is we're going to immediately have to alter this. Now, so we'll, that will make sense in a moment. So here's the basis of what's going on. So these are some pre-questions that we always ask, like where's the, what part does the leaf take place? Where, where does photosynthesis take place? You have this picture that we filled out or will be filling out. Each one of these, this is representative of a layer of cells that has chloroplast. Number one is the palisade mesophyll. Number two, is the cuticle, and we're going to try and affect the cuticle, right? Number nine is another mesophyll layer, but you notice the difference? It's called spongy because it's got these air pockets, and that's one of the things we're going to do. We're going to use a vacuum to collapse the air pockets and fill it up with water, and that's going to cause these discs to sink. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it the ingredients to do photosynthesis. What are, what are the... What are the reactants for photosynthesis? <coughs> yes. Carbon light energy and water. Water. All right. So what we're going to do is, so here is our leaf, and what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use a hole puncher and make a whole bunch of discs. Now, when we make the disc, do you, it's probably easier if you flip it like this and you cut little circles, and you're, you're going to need 10 for the with carbon dioxide and 10 for the without. Hey, experimental design language. Which one, what does that mean, the without one? Control. That's your control. Now, what we're doing, see, we're going to take, you look over here, we got some baking soda. Well, that's a powder. So it's in a liquid solution here. All right? And what we're going to do is. Well, that's going to be the width, and then we'll just use regular water. So you're going to get a cup, and then we'll go back to the PowerPoint in a second. So I got this. So you notice the cup says without, and you have a syringe for the one without. You have one that says with carbon dioxide and a syringe with tape for the width. Okay? And these will be up here when we start gathering lab supplies. When you fill this up, you're going to fill it up to about here. Some of the cups have a line there. Don't just ignore that. Just go past the writing. Right? And we're going to talk about how you're going to get that later. Now, once you have it, let's go back to the PowerPoint and see what's going to happen next. Also, a couple logistics. All right, this is the background. Now, one of the things that we're going to do is when you're cutting your circles, we're going to put this soap. We're going to put drop, two drops here, two drops here. And Mr. Myers and myself will do that while you're cutting out the disc. What does that do? All right? It actually affects the cuticle. This is going to make permeability easier. It's going to allow for carbon dioxide to get in. Carbon dioxide to get in through number seven, the stoma or stomata. So carbon dioxide is going to get in here and it will diffuse into the cells where if there's water, which it will be bathed in water, and water actually comes up through this structure called the xylem. In, in, during normal photosynthesis, all right? And so you've got water, you've got carbon dioxide, and then we're going to put it under a lamp. There's your light, there's your energy source. We're going to see if we can measure photosynthesis. So let's just go back, kind of close this up. All right, that's a video I'm going to show you later. So here's the deal. you got the syringe. You've got liquid soap. You've got all the supplies, but what? why are we using this syringe? Let's go ahead and go to here. See, if you look here, you're going to take your little little hole punch disc. You're going to put them in that syringe. And you're going to do that. So let's go ahead and go back to the camera so you can see. So what you do is you've got your liquid. you got your liquid. And your little disc go inside here. And then you basically push like here. And then you're going to go in. And well, this is, this is without. So you go in and extract some of the the solution. Extract some of the solution. Then it, you're going to have it on its side and what you do is flip it like this. What you want is to get it to sink. Now how are you going to do that? I'm going to show you a video on how to do that in a second, but you kind of extract some of the water. So there's the disc. Put your finger over it and you're going to do this. Do that and that 
is going to create a vacuum, and it should compress it. The little leaves will flatten out and sink. Okay? Then what do you do? You dump it in there. Then you'll have a cup. So let's go back to the PowerPoint and just kind of finish this up. There's the leaves. They're sinking. And then you put it in a cup, and there's your light source. Now, how, what, how are we measuring photosynthesis? If photosynthesis occurs, what gas is given off? Oxygen. Oxygen. So we're going to record the number of times, if you look over here, these little discs are going to float to the top. So let's direct our attention to the handout. That means there'd be air bubbles in them, which would cause, because of photosynthesis happens, that means there are air bubbles that would come out. Yeah, and that's going to cause the disc to think. So every time that disc goes up, you can measure photosynthesis. Okay, now, and then later on, we're going to graph it. So let's go ahead and finish up by talking about how we're going to alter this. All right, now, th the control should be that, but we're actually not going to have each group do three trials. Each group counts as a trial. So let's change this. At the top of your page, number one will be with carbon dioxide, and number two will be without. Number one is with carbon dioxide. Number two is without. So why don't you just write on your paper right above this, and you're going to do, you're going to have to time it. So what we do is the moment you get it to sink, you're going to put it in those cups, put it under the light source, and I'll show you where the light source is off when I'm done recording. Um, and so you'll have try every minute on the minute. At once a minute clicks, you're going to count how many and record it. And then you're going to keep doing this. We're going to allow one person in each group to have their cell phone out to have their timer. All right? And so that's so you see here's a picture of them floating. And eventually we'll do a graph. That is how we can use some household ingredients, baking soda, some water, and measure photosynthesis. So what we'll do now is I'll show you a video on how you can actually collapse it. Plunger in. Start again. Once we have all 10 discs in, we have our plunger. We sucked up the liquid. I'm going to take most of the liquid and air out of the syringe. Slowly take it, just so it doesn't mess up your disc. But close to the top, where it's just a little bit of liquid. Finger over, pull the, uh, the plunger back, so it's a lot of pressure. Hold. You can see that they all are floating down at the bottom. So there we go.